getting married. Gonzo Kate, I can't believe it. <laughs> That's Gonzo, full of surprises. What's the book on it? Eight to five, he finishes. You're crazy. Mm, it's a fast track, man. Take it or leave it. Ten bucks says he fades in the stretch. <laughs> Not with this lady. Who is she? Bonnie Wicks, the fashion photographer. Control these adolescent spasms of ours. <laughs> Terrible. Mm. Too responsible adults. With serious commitment. Mm -hmm. Look under your pillow. Go on, take a look. actually went conventional on me. Well, nobody's perfect. <sighs> Look at it. It is beautiful. Oh, baby, I want the whole world to see it. Do you mind? Hell no. That's our wedding announcement. Right. <laughs> well, wait till Shoop and Brancusi and all the rest of them hear about it. You're not going to get any peace. <laughs> you make parties and... Showers and reception. Hey, that's nice. I never had a bridal shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, will you listen to that? A few years ago, I was tagging around after Marty doing all the hip things, leading demonstrations and chaining myself to lampposts. Now you're going to do engagement rings and bridal showers. Boy, have you gone square. Well, not that square. How can I be sure? Come here. How'd you guess? This is Aunt Amaya's gallstones. She's having them converted into cufflinks as a wedding gift. 
How'd she hear about it? Oh, this place has been buzzing for days about your marriage to Bunny. I didn't even propose to her last night. Oh, yeah? Well, according to rumor number 47-Z, she still has a husband. No, no, that's wrong. She had a husband. Marty Wicks went underground about eight years ago and hasn't been heard from since. After seven years, she was free on grounds of desertion. Is that the same Marty Wicks that threatened to blow up the Statue of Liberty? Yeah, that's him. His methods were pretty extreme. Do you know, the guy had some okay ideas on social justice. Oh, yeah. Hallo, ist dort, äh, ist dort, ähm, Back? Aha, also ich, ähm, ich möchte einen Herrenabend für einen Freund geben und Sie wissen, worauf ich raus will. <lacht> Sehr gut, ähm, äh, ich habe gehört, dass Sie gewisse Dinge liefern könnten, nennen wir sie mal äh, exotische Videos. You can. Good. Well, uh, what, have you, what have you got in stock? Ah, Stunt Girl. Sleeping bag. Melvin and Mabel. Gee, I am. Um... Oh, what do you recommend? Ah, good. Okay. I assume they're all the same price. Now, uh, will I be paying for this on a credit? I'll call you back. <clears throat> If you can get it on a credit card, it's not the kind you want. I suppose you're right. Look, I want this to be a terrific night for Gonzo Jackson. I want it to, it's going to be his last fling. I'd like it to be a night that he'll remember for the rest of his life. Hmm. Listen, how about, what if we got a, a huge cake yeah. and we had this wench pop up? Uh, it's been done. I know, I know, but we could do it. Oh. This way. What? Over here. What? Private conference. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think I know a guy who can give you just what you want. Really? Mm -hmm. But it won't be peanuts. What is it? This flick can make deep. Holy Melinda. You think it's really available? <laughs> In genuine black and white. No, I'd rather have color. No, no, black and white. It's, it's the latest turn on. I want it. Okay, you got it. Now, all we got to do is... Doctors, radio call, ambulance coming. Later. What have you got? Possible heart problems. He's knocked out in the mission downtown. He's been having some difficulty breathing. Okay, we'll handle it. Now, it's a funny thing. Bay General was a lot closer, but he insisted on coming here. Why not? They like to point the point spread. Yeah. Hey, is it true what I hear about Gonzo? Everything you hear about Gonzo is true. <laughs> Temperature is 99.8. Blood pressure is 130 over 85. I think it's lousy food in that soup kitchen. I, I had better meals in an Algerian commune. Where do you taste our food? Our meals are tasty, unpretentious, and wholesome. This breathing problem, does it occur often? Well, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Any history of heart trouble? Well, I had rheumatic heart disease when I was a kid, but that hasn't bothered me in years. Do you think I had a heart attack? No, no, no. But I do want to run a few tests, just as a precaution. Oh, why, there goes Thursday. Miss Brancusi, I want a PA, lateral chest x-ray, and notify Titus in cardiology. I want a consult. Yes, sir. Will you just relax, my friend. You're in excellent hands. Thank you. I was referring to mine. <laughs> I like it. Of course, it's hard to appreciate without furniture. Bonnie, I think it's perfect. It's only five minutes from the hospital. <laughs> And look, I can walk to my studio. Have you seen it? Mm -hmm. It's big enough for two. We'll use it every night. We'll use it right now. Gonzo, what if the landlord comes in? Well, oh, let him wait his turn. Uh-oh. Something's wrong. What is it? Oh, Bonnie, it's, it's perfect. But something's bothering you. What is it? Where am I going to put the Titanic? <laughs> How bad? I'm a lot sicker than he thinks. Of all the hospitals in San Francisco, why do you have to come here? 
Maybe he'll be discharged before Gonzo finds out. Impossible. A man has significant heart murmur, an enlarged spleen, petechiae. All the symptoms of subacute bacterial endocarditis. Cool it. Hey, you guys want to laugh? What's that? Bonnie and I just put a deposit down on an apartment. Oh, <laughs> great, terrific. great. All right, what's the matter? Nothing. Uh, would, would you excuse me? Yeah, uh, oh, uh, that reminds me. I have a consul upstairs with Titus. I just saw Titus in the parking lot. What's going on? Uh, just discussing a new patient. Hmm? Which one? Nobody important. This one? Uh, yes. Um, I mean, no, I mean, here, I'll take that. Mm. Marty Wicks? We just admitted him. Maybe it's another Marty Wicks. I wish it were, Gons, but... It isn't. Nach all den Jahren soll ich mich jetzt hinter der Verfassung verstecken? Das kommt nicht in Frage. Und das Buch, das Buch können Sie vergessen, weil mein Leben zu leben schon schwer genug ist. Da muss ich nicht auch noch drüber schreiben. Okay? Ich rufe Sie wieder an. Anwälte. Guten Tag. Ich bin Dr. Gates, Mr. Wicks. Marty. Marty. Weren't you that pinko rabble rouser who tried to blow up the Statue of Liberty? Well, you've got your national shrines mixed up. It was the Rockettes. <laughs> you were crazy. But you sure had guts. <laughs> I hope you realize you just shook hands with a possible fellow. Doesn't the uh, statute of limitations help you on that at all? No, no, it doesn't. Not in my case. You see, it started out with disturbing the peace. Uh, I was a little hot-headed in those days. And then it was resisting arrest, assaulting an officer. And then, of course, I had to steal a car to get across the state line. And that brought the feds into it. And then there was a phony passport to get out of the country. And on and on. You want to hear more? Why'd you come back? Almost eight years of running and hiding and jumping at shadows. Paranoia. That's all right as a neurosis, but as a way of life, it stinks. Well, now that you're back, is there uh, anyone that you would like us to notify? Any relatives, friends? I've got a wife out there somewhere. You want me to call her? See, I don't know. I... I love to see her, but I don't want to inflict my life on her after all these years. Once the police take over, you know, she's bound to be involved. Yeah, that, yeah, that's true. But then in what? You know, in criminal charges and legal hassles and medical problems and... I just don't want to hurt her. You understand that? Mm -hmm. yeah, I think I can. Okay. I'll see you later. Give refunds. Well, since you went to all that trouble. A word of caution. Right. This reel is so hot that the last guy popped his pacemaker just threading it into the projector. Think you can handle it? Are you kidding? Where would I keep it? Uh, from now on, I don't want to hear about it. You sure you weren't followed here? 
can't be sure. Good grief. What if they trace this to the hospital? Porno ring exposed at San Francisco Memorial. Brown back. Good, good grief, Ernie. Don't, don't touch that. Now smiling now, but look me. Threatener. That's it. That's uh -oh. it. Be aggressive. Okay, circle each other. Circle each other. Dance a little. Give Sammy one to the chin. Throw your hair back, Sammy. That's it. That's it. Give her an uppercut. Now, well, that's it. That's it. Now, throw the hair, Sammy. Throw the hair. Looks great. Looks great. Let's have some happy feet. I want to see the dress move. That's it. That's it. Okay, Melba. That's it. That's great, Melba. Use that hair, Sammy. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Cheat your face up this way, Sammy. Come on. Throw that hair back, Sammy. Wilder. Make wild. That's it. Looks great. All right. That's a wrap. Beautiful. You're my best. Thanks a million. You will. Okay, next week? Yeah. Uh, no, tomorrow. We turn oh. match three o'clock. Okay. Howdy, Doc. I didn't see you come in. Evening gowns and boxing gloves. Is there some profound significance to all that? I don't know. But it'll catch their attention. You want some wine? Uh, no, thank you. Bonnie, I think we should talk. Uh-oh. Sounds serious. Sit down. Is that serious? <clears throat> Bonnie, just blurt it out. Okay. <laughs> There's no other way. Marty is back. Marty. Marty Wicks, your husband, ex-husband, whatever he is, is back. What do you mean he's back? Where is he? Jail? What? No, 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 no. He's, uh, he's at the hospital. They brought him in this afternoon with a heart condition. Is it very bad? We don't know for sure. It could be serious. I know what he's been through. Living in cellars. One step ahead of the police all the time. I wondered how long he could survive it. Does he know about us? I doubt it. Well, it doesn't matter. One way or the other. He has no claim on me, none at all. He's your husband. Ex-husband. Things change in eight years, Gonzo. I've changed. I used to be a slack-jawed little wimp who followed him around. A piece of wax he could shape and reshape. I think he'll appreciate the difference. Are you suggesting that I see him? That's up to you. There's absolutely no point in it. I'm in love with Gonzo Gates. We're getting married. Nobody is going to change that. Gonzo. I don't know what to do. See, that's about all we can do at the moment. What about the SBE? Well, culture is a positive. It's definite. Uh, we've got him on IV antibiotics. We'd better start improving quickly. We're going to have to go in and replace the mitral valve. That's one way to stay out of jail. <laughs> Bonnie, know he's here? Uh, yeah, I told her. How'd she have him? Well, uh, you know, I... She feels badly for the guy, but that part of her life is over. Good. It's finished. Right. No, I mean it. It's completely finished. Yeah, I hope so. What do you mean, I hope so? Did you think for one minute that it wasn't? Frankly, I hadn't thought about it. But... Well, it is over. I mean, we're still getting married. Okay. No matter what anybody says. I haven't heard a word. Well... You will. Believe me, they'll all have something to say, and I'm telling you right now, they're wrong.
Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah. find out I was here. Word gets around. And there's my lawyer, huh? Does it really matter? No. No. No, not anymore. Wow. Look at you. When I left you were a kid. You look sensational. Where have you been for eight years, Marty? Lost. They were my years, too. I know. Sorry. You must hate my guts. I'm not sure how I feel. You could have written once. One lousy word. No, I couldn't have done that. Because I knew that they had tailed you to nail me in the movement, so I couldn't take that chance. And I also know I can't make it up to you, kid. You don't owe me anything. Marty, there's something you have to understand. There isn't anything that I'm not ready for. I mean, I know when I left that you weren't going to check into a nunnery. And now that you're famous... <sighs> I'm not famous. Oh, yes, you are famous. I mean, you're the fashion photographer who's more beautiful than her models. Now, you've written about... I read that you're involved with a doctor in this hospital. He must be pretty special. Well, he's very lucky. Marty, a lot of things have changed. I know. fibrillation because acute pulmonary edema why didn't you call me <sighs> had all the help i needed but not enough to help him <sighs> any coffee over there yeah mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna have to go in and replace that valve how's his general condition terrible hmm. can we delay the surgery yeah, but not too long. Well, maybe you shouldn't get involved with this one. I'll get somebody else well, to Well, wait a minute. Okay? What do you mean, maybe I shouldn't get involved in this one? Who else are you going to get to assist? Don't patronize me. My personal problems do not interfere with my work. As far as I'm concerned, Marty Witz is nothing more than another patient in this hospital. That is all that he is. He's just another patient. <laughs> What's so damn funny? Love your objectivity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see you. See you. I knew he had to be desperately sick. I can remember him standing in the rain with a fever of 104, captivating hundreds of students with Marxist rhetoric. The original Iron Man. He used to say, how can I let myself run down when the machinery of history needs fixing? Well, he's still pretty tough. Not anymore. He's sick and helpless and a 
hundred years older. Bonnie, when you talked to Marty yesterday, did you tell him about us? No, I couldn't. Not yet, anyway. Maybe you shouldn't tell him at all. In fact, maybe it'd be a good idea to postpone things for a while. What things? The wedding, the apartment. Just until Marty's back on his feet. What does Marty have to do with us? Among other problems, the man is facing major surgery. His emotional condition has a lot to do with his chances. How's he going to feel if you tell him that you're getting married? like all this nobility and self-sacrificing. It makes me nervous. Do you want to marry me or not? Oh, Bonnie, of course I do. Of course, but we're... now that Marty is back here, there are some things that we had better discuss. Oh, this is really weird. Thought I'd outgrown Marty Wicks. Thought I had control of my own life. There he is, in that hospital bed, sick and dying and pulling all the strings. Oh, man, wait a minute. No, Gonzo. I... Just let me go. All right, remember now, this is just a sneak preview. Not a word about this to Gonzo until we're absolutely ready. Most men know more about their automobiles than their own body. How many of you, for example, can identify the following organs? Mm -hmm. Spleen. I, it starts slow, but it, it picks up. Bladder. Urethra. Each plays a vital role in your physical and biological life. Enough, enough, enough. But how much do you really know about them? Are you in there, Stanley? Oh, no, it's Welcome. What are we going to do? Let him in. Uh, just a minute. Hi there, Arnold. What's going on in here? Oh, uh, well, uh, Jackson uh, just um, stumbled over a film clip. What kind of a film clip? Oh, just, we're just broadening our medical perspective. Well, do you mind if I broaden mine along with you? Uh, well, it might not be your kind of perspective, Mr. Slocum. <laughs> ATF. 107-8. This is an old army training film from World War II. It is? Yes, it's on venereal disease. Did you know that, Jackson? Um, the, Dr. Riverside was planning to screen this for the orderlies, sir. I was. Well, it's a splendid idea. I commend you for it. Wouldn't hurt to show it to the interns, too. Good thinking, Arnold. Oh, by the way, don't omit me from that guest list. Hmm? Gonzo's wedding reception. Oh, Miss Brancusi's in charge of that. Oh, in that case, I needn't worry. ATF 107-8. <laughs> How well I remember that. <laughs> Venereal disease? You call that erotic? Hey, all in your point of view. You got some style, Bonnie. The way you walk, the way you hold your beautiful head. Did I ever tell you that? I would have remembered. I was too busy giving the world mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. But I was the one who needed it.
So you came to tell me something, huh? No, not really. Yes, you did. It's written all over your face. I don't have that much to say, Marty. When we were together, I had nothing to say. I was full of dazzling words and ideas, but they were always yours. Well, you see, when we took our vows, I thought we'd have a lifetime to change that. Weißt du noch, wie dieses Glöbnis entstanden ist? Du hast es in dem Versteck in Oakland geschrieben. Und es wurde von einem Gitarristen feierlich unter einem Poster von Che Guevara verlesen. So, are you gonna tell me about the man who's in love with you? No. I didn't come here for that. Are you in love with him? Good luck with your surgery, Marty. I was crazy to think that we could have it back the way it was. You're right, Kim. I've got no claim on you. I've got a whole new life. So, go and live it. It's open. You know we're operating on Marty Wicks tomorrow? Yeah, just going over his films. Have some wine. Yeah, don't mind if I do. How's he doing? Not too good. Well, all in all, he's a, he's a lousy surgical risk. What's wrong? State of mind, mostly. Man's convinced he's got nothing to live for. Lost his wife. He's got legal, financial, medical problems. Oh, ahead. come on. Now, is it my fault that I fell in love with his ex-wife? I mean, I didn't ask him to come back here, and I certainly didn't make him sick. Well, who said you did? What? The way things are, I get the impression that I'm taking advantage of this guy. Oh, no, no, no. On the contrary. I mean, he's the one who's sick, so that gives him the advantage. Anyway, the uh, question is, how do we make him well? well I'll tell you one thing. He's not going to die on us. Well, I hope you're right. You're damn right I'm right. You want to make sure that I'm right? Oh, really? How? Hello? <laughs> I'll take care of the nurse, thank you. <laughs> My compliments to your tailor, Doc. So. You all primed and ready for surgery tomorrow? Does that make any difference? It does to me, I'm one of the surgeons. No. You know, when I first met you, I really liked you. Now I am beginning to change my mind. Why? Because I'm not looking forward to your lousy operation? Because you're not looking forward to anything. My worry. And mine. Suppose you had Bonnie again. Would that make any difference? What do you know about Bonnie? Enough to know that I'm in love with her. I'm the guy she's going to marry. You're him. That's it? That's all you can say? You're going to just lie there and let it happen? What choice do I have? You can get well and get off your butt, then we can battle it out on equal terms. What do you call equal terms? Right now, you're sick. That gives you a distinct advantage. <laughs> Some advantage. It gives you the opportunity to make others feel guilty and obligated and sympathetic. With a sick man, we lose our God-given right to be unpleasant. You're doing all right without it. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure I want you operating on me tomorrow. Oh, of course not. You want to curl up and die. And I'm going to make damn sure that you live. Why bother? So I can take Bonnie away from you and not feel the least bit guilty about it. Look. I've got no claim on her. I told her that. I asked her to forget about me. You don't have to ask her to do anything. She knows how she feels. You know, all this nobility stuff is beginning to turn my stomach. Why don't we try a little honesty for a change?
You didn't come back from nowhere just so that you could ignore Bonnie. You wouldn't be here right now if you didn't want her back. You think I planned this heart problem of mine? You think I asked for the surgery? No, but you did ask for this hospital, and you knew that she was involved with someone on this staff. Okay, look, so I was, I was curious. But now let me tell you something. I'm not playing games with Bonnie, or you, or anyone else, because I know I can't give her the life she deserves. And that's why I've given her up. As long as you play the invalid, she cannot give you up. And if you die, you're going to haunt her and me for the rest of our lives. And I got to tell you, pal, I resent the hell out of you for that. Now, I want you healthy and on your feet so that we can slug it out as equals. If that's too much for you to handle, then I suggest that you check out of this hospital because we can use the bed. Shea. Gib mir ein Wundtuch. Mhm. Etwas mehr zusammenziehen. Da haben wir sie. Oh, ja. Suction. Oh, man. Look at the vegetations on that dog. No wonder he was having trouble. Eric, I'm getting a lot of bleeding here. Reduce the flow, please. All right. Yeah, that's better. Could you please turn up the vent? Death meter is 200 cc per minute. I will incise the valve at the annulus. Get the prosthesis ready, Ernie. Ready. Don, wait. I'm sorry, I got help at the studio. How's Marty? Well, the surgery went pretty well. He, uh, he's still got a big hill to climb, but I think he's going to be okay. What do you mean, a big hill? Well, his recovery period, you know, may take some time. How long? About, uh, two weeks in the hospital. And after that? Well, he should be convalescing for maybe another two months. Um... I'll get dressed. I won't be long. Okay. Promoting sympathy for when you go to court? What are you doing here? I came to take you for a walk. Forget it. Okay, a ride. No, thanks. What is the matter with you, Marty? You've been moping around here like this for a week. Well, that lover boy of yours, Gates, he conned me into this operation, you know. He told me that by having it that I'd enjoy my life more. Well, I don't call this enjoyment. You have to give it a little time. And a little help. Come on. Let's go get some fresh air. Nope. Honey, look. I don't want you to get involved in this. You can do a lot better. Look, they're going to be kicking you out of here in a day or so, and somebody has to take care of you. I can manage. For the moment, at least, you can't. Therefore, I've appointed myself... Bonnie, look, I'm a lousy crippled, and I don't want you pushing me around. Why was it all right for me to be a cripple, Marty? I was dependent on you for everything. Every handout, every idea, every token of love. I leaned on you until I was able to walk by myself. Now it's your turn. Don't you understand? I'm just returning the favor. Shh. You're too sick and weak and helpless and dependent to argue. 
So just shut up and do what you're told. being discharged today. Yeah, I know. I'm taking him home with me. Yeah, I figured you would. He has no place to go. And no, I... you don't have to explain. Wow. Well, I'm sorry. What is it, Bonnie? Love? Loyalty? Obligation? I don't know. I just know that I have to do it. Can you understand that? Yeah. Yeah, I think I can. <sighs> <laughs> it would have been a hell of a marriage with uh, you looking over your shoulder worrying about Marty. Maybe that's just a temporary thing. If it is, give me a call. Will you still be around? I don't know. salmon loaf at home that won't quit. Well, I just happen to have the wine. Oh, yeah? Salmon loaf, huh? Did you make it yourself? No, a friend of mine. He's kind of in the business. Here you go. 